Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you a post narration of NPL week 10, I believe this was. Um, further explanation, I don't have week 9 up yet, and I'm shift and the reason I do that is because I actually had this battle first and it also fits the timeline better. Um, so to explain the situation, I am currently uh, before this battle I was five and three. I just won the last two battles and I knew if there's any way of me staying in this and staying in this tournament for the finals bracket, um, I'm going to have to win this battle. So um, with that said, I'm facing Jolt um, and he's on the front side here. He's closer to you and I beat him last time, but you know, history doesn't always repeat itself. And plus, we both know this battle is pretty important for us. Um, not as much to him as he's pretty much guaranteed to clinch the division, but hey, he could stop me in my tracks right here from me even getting the chance. Because it's actually between me and the Green Bay Polkias who I'm facing next week, and for who gets the last spot of the bracket. It is very close. With that said, um, I changed up my sets a little bit this week um, from last time, but not too much. For one thing, I changed to Sash Jolly B Sharp. Um, I think it helps a good bit. Um, you can't really see much on the screen, but um, just assume the part with the cursor is B sharp. Um, and I wanted rocks on this team for sure because, um, as you can tell, it's like decent against his team because like Rotom Heat and then Breaking Sashes, of course. So I mean, it didn't go as amazingly as I wanted with rocks, but hey, rocks are always good. Um, I have my standard dot Metacham with like Wombo Combo, Max Attack Adamant really works well against this team as well. And as you can see this time, it ain't no difference. I made P2 offensive as it's just a really good set and its coverage handles this team well. Um, this Togekiss, this Togekiss is a specially defensive variant. Um, it's really weird, Air Slash, Roost, um, Thunder Wave, Ancient Power. Um, not sure how I feel about that even after the battle. Really the main, the initial goal was to make it a defogger, but then I kind of forgot about that and it was like four move syndrome. And then um, I have Goth because I did want to trap Terrakion, that's the main reason. And then I can also like trick Clefable if that thing wants to go insane. And then finally, I have Scolipede because Scolipede with a speed boost, as you can see by his team, destroys it. I have Poison Jab over Megahorn though. I have Rock Slide, Poison Jab, Earthquake Protect. And that's because I needed something to hit Clefable in case B-Sharp goes down. Um, although I have some other mons, I just had to be careful. So with that said, why don't we just get into the battle? Um, he starts out with Alakazam as I start with B-Sharp. Now, as you know, I'm sashed, so I can go for a knockoff and not have like the worst worries in the world. So that's exactly what I'm going to do as he brings in his Greninja. Probably predicting something, nonetheless, I'm not going to go into details predict, trying to predict what he's predicted. Um, perhaps it was my Togekiss, because that definitely would have been able to wall him best. Nonetheless, um, I go for the knockoff, take off his expert belt, and that's great. I switch out to P2 because I can probably take whatever hit he's going to go for, and then I can T-Bolt next turn or even T-Wave. But he goes for power-up punch, interestingly enough, which means he's a physical variant, as he goes for the waterfall, doesn't do too much, but he flinches. Here, he power-up punches because he's predicting me to recover, but I ain't playing no games here. I've got to take this thing out, so I go for the T-Bolt, and that's that. Now he brings in Terrakion. Um, I don't know what kind it is. I believe last time it was Life Orb, and as you can see this time, it was Life Orb again. As he goes for a fairly risky Stone Edge, as I say risky because next turn he misses, and I go for a second to take him out. People said to use Close Combat, um, but, you know, why? When... Clearly Stone Edge would have done a lot. Wouldn't have killed, that's for sure, but I mean, maybe with high crit ratio. Nonetheless, he brings in Alakazam again, and I don't really know what he's going to do. I'm kind of scared that he's going to go for sub or something, so I wanted to switch out, and I got my special defensive Togekiss. But he has Toxic. What? Totally didn't expect that, but nonetheless, here I'm pretty sure he's going to switch out to Rotom Heat because that thing walls anything Togekiss ever offers. So therefore, I go for the Ancient Power. He does like very mad amount of damage, it's like okay, but I have Serene Grace, so I'm like, can I please get a boost? Like that'd be awesome, and look at that, second try, I mean 20% is not like terrible, because that's like flinch chance for a waterfall and that kind of thing, so it's not like I was really hacking him. Nonetheless, I go for another Ancient Power, see if I can boost again, that's clearly not the case, as um, 
Here I'm just going to T-wave because this Clefable could certainly be an issue in the future. As um, here, I'm just going to go for an Air Slash. Really my goal here is I think I want to die of poison, just flinch him down, and then um, I can take him out with B-sharp. But of course, on the last turn, he gets his rocks up, and unfortunately that breaks my Sash for my B-sharp, which could be important later. Um, so I have to go for the Psychic there, take him out, as here he goes for the Light Screen, and I go for a Psychic. Now he has both screens up, and judging by how he's playing this, he seems to have Light Clay. So what I want to do here is just be very careful in regards to stalling out these screens in case he has something that can set up, because if something set up, sets up on his team, GG. I'm um, guessing by his Toxic Alakazam, the only thing that could set up at this point is his PZ. Um, so here, his Reflect goes down, so I can Mega Evolve, I can go for the Fake Out. Clearly, that does enough, and it can do a KO, and cool, now I can Bullet Punch next turn. Just kidding, he has Inner Focus, probably for this exact reason. So here's a little bit of a mind game. Not like insane, but I can either Protect or go for Poison Jab. If he brings in PZ on a Poison Jab, GG. But um, if he brings it into my Protect, that's kind of really good momentum for him, and I can only get off a decent amount of damage. But nonetheless, I am able to Protect, which is great, because now I have the Speed Boost, so I'm going to outspeed him, and I get a free Poison Jab off on something. So he sacks Salakazam here, and that's great. So all he has left is Rotom Heat at 11%, and then a PZ. So he still has that Light Screen up, nothing crazy though. I go for the Poison Jab, don't get the Poison, but the Tri Attack is able to take me out. So. I've got two Mons left, he's got two Mons left. Um, both of our Mons are pretty threatening. Um, B-Sharp of course resists. I don't know what kind of PZ this is yet, and so I don't know necessarily what its moveset is. I'm kind of assuming it's choice to this point, but nonetheless I go for the knockoff here as he nasty plots. Now I'm not sure what this means. I don't know if he was just outright predicting my Sucker Punch, like I don't know if he had HP fighting. Like, um, definitely some insane stuff there that I wasn't really sure of. But nonetheless, he goes for Nasty Plot and Knockoff takes him out. Which is excellent. As here, he brings in his Rotom and I outspeed. He said he had like EV issues and that's why he didn't outspeed there. I was debating about Sucker Punch versus Knockoff. Clearly I went for Knockoff here. But he did go for Overheat there. So if I would have just Sucker Punched, that would have been great. I don't know what I was really worried about otherwise. <laughs> like Rest or Pain Split, I don't know. But nonetheless, I go for the Knockoff. Knockoff is like clay, as you can see, and that's the battle. So that puts me at, um, that puts me, let's see, I lost three. So I'm at six and three now. Um, and basically at this matchup, I believe Green Bay Palkias are also six and three. And therefore, whoever wins will get the last spot in the bracket. So you'll find out next week, and I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, until later. Peace.